happy happy Tuesday. It's Tuesday, right? Yes. Yeah, happy Tuesday. We hope you had a fabulous July 4th weekend. We were incredibly blessed here in Memphis to have gorgeous weather. And yesterday we had a great day too, didn't we? Yes, we swam in the pool. Yeah. So I'm sitting here today, this is Tuesday, with my sweet, sweet granddaughter, Bella, who is, has just turned 13. Just? <laughs> well, I forget, when you're younger, you want to be able to be older. It's been like seven months. I know. So anyway, so she's seven, she's 13 and seven months. So you're closer to 14, I guess, than you are 13. All right, my bad. So it was kind of fun. Was it? When was it? Was it back like around Thanksgiving or Christmas when we hopped on here? Do you remember? I think it was Christmas because we had. I don't even we remember what we were making now. I had ingredients. I think it was Christmas. What we were making. So, I thought it would be fun to pop on here because not only do makers, you guys as well as myself, we like making things ourselves, and that's what Michelle and I do a lot of times together. But I think it's important to use opportunities to be able to do projects with other people in our family, and especially our granddaughters and our grandsons. And Bella is a crafter, are you not? I am. Cra I mean, she's gotten the bug from her Nana. So um, her mama is a crafter, her mama is Brooke, and um, we love being able to get together. And it was kind of fun because yesterday Bella was like, we'll come work at the shop. And I was like, we'll have to jump on here and do a Facebook Live. So she's very creative. And if you have grandchildren that are anywhere from six years old to teenagers, it's an opportunity to be able to get together and do projects. So let's kind of walk them through what we're going to do. Okay. All right. So remember, with our stencils, they come in like a pocket. So we're going to have to take this out. And Bella chose this stencil. She liked the adventure. Tell them especially why you liked this one. Because uh, of the different places in Paris. I, to we, travel. Yeah. So we, um, when Bella was 10, tell everybody where you asked to go. To Paris. So she wants to go to Paris. So we actually, her papa and I want to take her to Paris. We're just trying to wait till all this COVID stuff is done. But that is someplace we're going to go and all the places and things we're going to eat. Are you going to eat snails when we go? No. <laughs> Um, it's always fun to be able to experience some of the great foods that they have there. So I want to be able to show you just how easy it is, but also to think about doing something with your granddaughter or your grandson. It's, off, it's an awful lot of fun. And they get to enjoy the bragging rights afterwards. All right, so I'm just going to open this up. So tell everybody what colors have you chosen? What are you going to do? Um, I've chosen... Uh, Can you read them? They're kind of crazy names. I don't even know where the name is. All right, so the name is actually right here. This one's okay. called Hey Y'all. Hey Y'all. And Hold Your Horses. Oh, I, that's really good. I think this one is the If the Creek Don't Rise, and this is Well I Declare. Okay. So are these funny names? Yes. <laughs> Do you know who comes up with them? You. <laughs> All right, so... Um, Bella knows that her, her papa and Nana are kind of crazy anyway, so it's all good. So we have fun together. All right, so these are the four colors you chose, yes. and that's adventurous in itself that you picked out all those colors. So we've got a great T-shirt that we got from Tarjay. Let's see if the price is on it still. How much was it? Four dollars. That's pretty good, isn't it? Cheap. It's inexpensive. All right, so tell us what you, what you chose. Okay, so... I chose to do the backpack one for like a pocket look. And I'm gonna use this, it looks like a blue sort of. Yeah. And then I'm gonna, the mountains on the back, um, and then do the adventure thing underneath Below it. it. Underneath it. I like that. So, yeah. You kind of had a hard time deciding. Oh. It went back and forth. All right, so let me show you this. So we're just gonna cut on this line right here. All these lines are cut lines. So you want to place that where you want it to go? Mm -hmm. Now there's a backing on it, and you're going to peel that backing off. So great. So that's like your imaginary pocket. I like that. 
It, it would be even better if it had a pocket on it, wouldn't it? It would. All right, tell me again. So you wanted the mountains? Uh, yes. Sir. Okay. So guys, as you are popping on here, please tell, tell us, tell Bella and I where you're tuning in from. And if you have grandchildren, share the name of your grandchildren. Yes, I like that. I think that position is good. Let's look at it for just a second. If you wanted to, because a pocket might go over just a little bit more, it's up to you. Do you want to move it over? Now, here's the cool thing. It'll repositional. So you can take it up and then just move it over just a tad to this, maybe this direction. Perfect. Maybe move it over just a little bit to the yeah. right. Yes. Now, something else you need to do um, is you're going to want to put something underneath it. Why do you think? Uh, so you could like spread it more. Yeah, but why else do you think? So it might go through it. There you go. It won't bleed through. All right, so why don't you open this up down here and you can slide this in and then fit that underneath. Beautiful. All right. All right, so now what color did you want to use on the front? This, um, that blue? Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Okay. Go on, take that glass tile and squirt out probably about a, a nickel, about the size of a nickel. Is it good? Is it good? She's very methodical, can you is, tell? Is it good? That's perfect. If you need more, all you have to do is add it. Okay. So now you've not worked with our new squeegees. I have not. They're really good. So go on, if you want to, grab that rectangle one and You'll notice it's kind of beveled. Now, this is just my personal preference. I like loading it up on this side. Mm -hmm. So you can come in like this and then load it up. Now, one thing you need to make really sure of, and I'll tell you what, just so it doesn't stress you out, let's grab some of that tape. And you can, if we don't need the tape to make this adhere. Why do you think we would add tape? So it doesn't go so it doesn't get on the shirt and you've got a little bit more leeway. So guys, if you're working with your granddaughter or maybe your children, maybe you have children at home. And these are, they love, do what? <laughs> That's what your apron's for. And just put on your apron. Um, then I would do things like this to give them a little bit more wiggle room so that way they won't mess it up. And we don't want to get it on the edge. But if you, you at home, when you're working your way around and, um, and you've got ample room, then this isn't necessary. But that way, just to be able to give the... Now, I'm saying this and not to offend you. Yeah. But like, like if you were babysitting somebody, what's the age of most of the people that you babysit? Do you babysit that much? Not as much as I used to, but they were about maybe... They're pretty young, like six. Six. So see, you would do things like this. If you were trying to work with them for them to make something, this would give them a little bit more extra protection. All right, love that. Now, so you loaded up your ink on your spreader. So then you want to, usually you're right-handed. I hold it with my left hand down like this, like this, mm -hmm. and then spread it. Okay. So like this. That. that way it's taut. Hold it at a 45 degree angle, which is about like this. I'm stressing I you out. I do not know how to do that. I'm, all I know is just it's, hold it. And then you want to go over it so it does not miss It gets down in there. Beautiful. Look, it didn't even use, it didn't use the nickel size that we had, did it? Mm -hmm. So we could have almost done a dime size. Okay. So you can just go in and put that back time. on your glass. Is it good? Yes. Here, I'll wipe the rest off for you on my Thank apron. Thank you. All right, so now you can go on and take your tape off. It may wound up taking off the whole stencil. Love that.
So cute. Looks good. Doesn't that look good? It does. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna set this over here, and we're gonna do the back of it. But let's go in and take your tub of water. Let's show everybody at home that may be watching, and you want to just go in and put that in the water. Now you can just take your fingers, and you can hold it, and then that way that's gonna make the ink come off of the stencil because you can use the stencil over and over and over again. Good. That looks perfect. Now, which side is sticky? This one. Okay, so let's lay that one up and just let it air dry. Here. Perfect. It's best to keep it away from paper towels or rags or anything like that. That way it's gonna continue to have it You probably want to allow a little bit of dry time for those people at home that are watching, then that way um, we're going to show them how to create the back. So it's fun, and I loved Bella, she came up with this idea herself, to be able to do a design on the front, like imaginary front pocket. This is our $4 Target shirt. And so now on the back, she's going to create a, a design that she wanted. Now tell everybody what you chose. Was it this? Uh, yes, it was a mountain. Is that still what you want to do? Yes, I do. All right, so I'm going to give you the scissors. So that way, cut it apart from your leaf there and your compass. So that way, good deal. Sorry, I do not want to mess up the line. That's all right. So the cool thing about it is when we've got these big stencils, you've got tons of different patterns that you can do. All right, so now you're going to put down, place your mountain where you think you want it to go. Now, now you want the word adventure. So you're gonna cut it out. So guys, as you pop on here, just um, tell us hey, and if you have grandchildren or children's names, share those with us, because um, I think it's just something about thinking how we could get together and be able to make things. And get closer with your grandchildren. And get closer with your grandchildren. I will tell you, it was a difference yesterday when um, everybody kind of stayed inside, and I got my swimsuit on and went outside, and we played basketball in the pool and swam, and it was it's really nice just to be able to connect with Bella. She has a twin brother, Dylan, and so we just, we just played in the pool, and then it was fun to be able to come here today and be able to make something and craft together. So it helps making memories, doesn't it, honey? It does. All right. Is that good? Yes, I like that a lot. Now I have a question. Mm -hmm. I like, you said something while ago. Do you like it going above it? I do. Or do you like, because I don't know that I would include the teepees on it. Yeah, I was going to cut that off. Okay. I like, well, or we just don't do it. Or I get covered up with tape. Yes, I love that idea. All right, so if you wanted to, you could have the just the word adventure up here. That'd be cute. And then have your mountains below it. Mm -hmm. All right, so go on, and if you want, place your mountains. That's going to be your visual anchor, and it's the weight. When you think about composition and what it is that you're working on, you're always going to be looking for composition. And see how normal, I like how you're doing this. You're working in the upper third of the shirt. So let's, here's my thought. How would you feel about just moving it up just a tad? Is that okay? I was thinking about that before. Okay. You usually don't want patterns on the back of a shirt to be too much in the center. Okay, beautiful. And remember, to everybody at home as we're doing this, we did put in our paper under here, so that way it's protected, it's not gonna bleed through. All right, so now you're gonna put your adventure on top. I, I had shown Bella, this was a mug that we had done, and it's done in our chocolate uh, ceramic paint, but is this not the cutest mug? I think I'm gonna give this to you so that way you can take it home and you can drink hot tea and cocoa out of it and think about when we're gonna go to Paris. Yes. Thank you. Is that, is it even? Okay, let's I've moved, see. I've moved to like five. Five times. Trying to All right, out. so here's my thought. So let's look at the right side mm -hmm. and let's look at the left side. 
see how we've got a little bit, it's called negative space here on the left. I think probably what we need to do is center it. So I'm gonna lift it up. The fact that it's repositional makes it much more helpful. And let's make sure that the distance on the right, see here, from here to here is about the same as on from here to here. So let's lay that down and look at it. How does that look? Move this side a little more. So the distance from here to here and here to here, do they feel okay? They feel good. Okay. All right, so what colors did you decide to use? Um, okay, I was going to use these. Okay. I think I know what you're thinking. What are you thinking? Um, I want to do the white with the cloud. Okay, I like that. And maybe like a tiny bit of like, like frosted capped mountains. Yes. Love that idea. I'm going to do that. Okay. And I was thinking maybe, I'm not for sure if I should do the, like the grayer one for that or the black one for that. I think we should do the gray for the mountains and the black for the top. I love that. No. See, and here, this is what is so fun and so safe that they can't mess this up. It's an opportunity for them to be able to be creative, give them a little bit direction, a little bit of direction. You want them to be able to learn a little bit, maybe if it's about oval eye track or maybe it's about blending of colors or what colors go well together or like doing the pocket design on the front how to protect their work. Those are things that they're learning, but they're also learning confidence builders on how to create things because then they get to wear what they made. And do you no, know what Nana see. always says? No. En enjoy the bragging rights. Oh yeah, I have a shirt that, oh yeah. Enjoy the bragging rights. You I have, have that one exact of shirt. So you're using tape to cover up your teepees. Mm -hmm. Got it. Did you see the cute little tennis shoes that we did that had the teepees on them? I did not. Oh my gosh, they were the cutest. Oh, I'll have to see that after. So guys, as you're popping on, please say hey, and um, tell me where you're tuning in from as I'm working with my granddaughter, Bella, today. And so we are going to be giving away this adventure stencil with two of the inks that Bella is working with today. And all you have to do is share this video and tag three friends and your name is gonna go in for a drawing. So all day Tuesday, all day Wednesday, and Thursday. Thursday we'll make the announcement of the winner of this adventure stencil and uh, the ink. So that way you can get with your grandchildren or your children and make some adventure t-shirts, which are perfect for camp and all kinds of um, summer nights to, to be able to enjoy these. Now, one thing you wanna make sure of, don't do it too tight so it will start to pucker up. I see that. So let's just loosen this just a little okay. bit. I'm sorry. Oh, I don't want it. perfectly fine. You're teaching me how to do this right here. Thank you. So I'm just going to do it just a little looser. That way it's not puckering. Okay. So what are you doing now? I was going to, like, try to cover up these so I don't accidentally get that. You're kind of worried about it? Yes. Um, okay. You could use a whole piece of tape if you wanted to. You don't have to. Oh, that it. Got it. Up. You're right. You're right. I didn't see that. I covered up that. So You're right. To... She has better vision than me, too. All right. Again, if you're tuning in, you don't have to use the tape. But we're using this just as a skill builder for her to be able to have a confidence level in what she's doing. So it's giving her a little bit more room. And then that way she's not going to be worried about messing it up. Sorry, it's taking a while. That's all right. Don't worry. This is this is all about you being able to have something that you enjoy. And if that's giving you a little bit more of a comfort level of not worrying about it, then it's all good. Is this okay? Yes. Yeah. All right. So now what are you going to do first? My only concern, I just want to make sure this isn't too puckered. Yeah. That you've got enough yeah. room. Okay? It's okay. Looks good. All right, so you want to go in and do the adventure in white? No, wait, you're not doing that in white. You're doing it in black. Yes. Okay, I love that. Oh, do I? Oh, let me give you a new one. Oh, okay. 
So we, we like, you don't have to have these glass tiles. I like it them. It makes it easier. Yes. So now you learned what you did last time about how much you're going to need. It's actually a really dark, dark, dark brown. Yes. Do you want a black or are you okay with that? Um, can I have a black? Yes. Hold on just a second. Let me, Not let me see. Hold on. Sorry. No, no worries. Okay. Is that black? No, that's a dark chocolate again. Um, I think I see. So, um, we're crafting with Nana and Bella. All right, is that it? Is that black or is that still brown? It's okay, come here. Uh, is that black? Uh, that looks that looks black to me. I think it'll work. Sorry. All right, so now let's just squirt some out. We're going to go with it. All right, so guys, if you've never worked with our inks before, they are made for fabric, so you can use them on the T-shirts. Now, we'll tell you. Let me just show you something real quick, and you can use that spreader. You can use a brush on this too, because you've got a small space, and it will work. You do have to make sure that you just press it through the mesh. So this is definitely a dark chocolate, Bella. It's definitely, it's fine though. It might make it look more like an adventure maybe. No, I agree. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to take that from you. No, All right, right. So now go on and work on your mountains. What are you going to do first? Okay, well, I'm sorry. I'm like, I'm just that I inner see. OCD. You get it. You get it naturally. I get it from my mom. <laughs> and and you. your mom got it from me, unfortunately. Okay. A little bit of OCD helps everybody for having really nice projects. And the aprons come in handy too, don't they? All right. So I love your idea of doing your snow cap oh, wait. mountains. So it won't take very much at all. You can blend a tiny bit of like that gray so it's like a faded. You could. You could. Okay, so I'm gonna do the clouds first. Okay. Good job. It's kind of fun, isn't it? It is really fun. It's like satisfying too. Like seeing the color blend into the shirt. Do you think you would ever do anything like this and resell them? I think it's a good idea to like sell them. It is. So that way, when you can get t-shirts for like three or four dollars and do a design like this on it, it really makes it really cute. We are working on some jackets and little denim jackets and shorts and stuff with different patterns that you'll see later on this week. They're Absolutely adorable, and they're so easy to do. All right, so now are you doing snow caps? I am doing snow Love caps. Love that. See, she had such great ideas. I'm trying to get it where it's not like too. Much. Now, with the ink, you've got a little bit more time. If you were going to be doing something with chalk art, you know, it goes, it's going to dry faster. You have to hurry. Yes, you do have to hurry. Is that okay? Yes, I think it's good. Now, what's going to be your next color? Uh, I think it's going to be the it's like a that grayish gray? for like rocks. Okay. For okay. I love that. Just like a tiny bit there. Um, is that fine? Yes, I think that's great. Okay. Okay. Need my apron now. You can't mess this up. That's the main thing. You can't mess this up. This is about enjoying it. I have, believe it or not, I have a lot of ladies at home that I try, I'm try. i trying to teach them, you cannot mess this up. It feels like you can, but you really cannot. Okay. So now you're going to go in and squirt just a little bit of your gray out. The gray is a beautiful color. Okay, love that. Beautiful gray. Did you hear that? Beautiful color. Okay, and you want to just get a little bit first and blend at the bottom. my art class now. <laughs> you know, <clears throat> you'll, you'll realize that as you, as you get older, there's something incredibly therapeutic about doing things like this. It's very calming because like you always need something in your life that cal calms you down whenever you're stress, stressing over yes. stuff. Yes, yes. 
Absolutely. And thinking about, you know, some of the other sayings like on the stencil, life is a daring adventure. It really is. It is, isn't it? It is. And wherever you go, go with all your heart. Give 110% with everything you do. Yep. And traveling does allow us to be able to learn different people. Different places. Different places, different foods, what they like, how we're different, but then how, how we're all alike. <clears throat> and then we'll have to learn French when we go to Paris. I can't, I'm terrible at learning different languages. I cannot we'll, do we'll, it. We'll help each other. I always just forget it. Like, I learned one language once, and I forgot it. What language was that? I think it was German. It's really, really hard. Okay. Can I do, like, a little bit more white? Yes. Where are you going to put the white? I just kind of, like, blend it Do you it think in you've got enough gray? right here? Or? I'm not going to, like, blend it in. Oh, there absolutely. Go for it. Go for it. Just kind of, like, I think, like, a blending to make it better color. No, I love that. And I love how adventurous you are with even, no pun intended, that we're doing an adventure T-shirt, but that you're being very adventurous on how you're blending. Did you even know that you could do that? No. Love that. No, you've got this one too. Look, if you wanted to blend it that way. Theo saying yeah. hello, everybody. Do you want to blend blend it that way, or are you good? I think I'm about done. You're about done. I'm done. All right. You ready for the big reveal? I am. I'm okay, excited. go for it. Go on and take your tape off. Those of you that may be watching, if you don't have grandchildren yet, just wait. They're the best. They are the best. They're the sweetest. You get to enjoy them, and then you can send them back home. With a bunch get, of sugar. <laughs> you can feed them sugar. You, I have realized now, it's like, you just eat whatever you want when you come to my house. I want them to, I want them to come back. And just feel wild for their parents. That's what my parents are going to say that they're going to do to my children. No. They've told me I'm going to make them just fill them up with candy and send them right back. All right. I'm excited to see what you've done, Bella Bug. That came out really nicely. Oh. See, it made it like, it's like, it's like it not come all the way through, but it made it look better. I, I, I agree with you. Okay, now I agree with you. Now you put that in your water. Theo, Theo is, look at that. <gasps> Bella, that that's good. so good. It good. Like it. good job, girl. It did work out how I wanted it to. Okay. See how it's like blended in more? Yes, that. that's great. Now, here's, here's the exciting part. When she wears this shirt, do you not think that she's going to be enjoying the bragging rights? 100%. And here's the other thing that you're going to notice that's going to happen. She's going to always remember when her and her Nana did this. Yes. So don't miss out on the opportunity to be able to have a conversation, be able to sit down, get some inexpensive T-shirts at Walmart or Target or um, towels or bags or mugs or whatever, and find a stencil that you know that your children or grandchildren would love and sit down with them and let them make something. I promise it's a game changer. I love you, girl. I love you. You better <laughs> Good <cry>. job. <laughs> Continue to have a fantastic July 4th, everybody. We love you guys, and we'll see you back here tomorrow with a new stencil design. Bye.